Hello, everyone. This is Lale Hancock of Global Wellness for All and Bella Pimo. I wanted to share some tools with you today. Um, one that I learned about 10 years ago and wondered why I had not learned it when I was five years old. It's called Who Does This Belong To? And it's uh, one of the pragmatic tools of access consciousness. And um, it's interesting. This is a tool that I learned, but yet utilize very often during the weeks, during the months. It doesn't matter if I'm working or even dealing with some personal things. And more than ever since COVID, um, it's one that has been in my pocket to utilize more and more on a regular basis. And um, I wanted to just bring it to your attention in case it might be a contribution to what you might be experiencing at work, at home, or in your relationships, and so much more. Um, one of the things about who does this belong to is not just about asking a question and getting answers. So it's not about like, this is it. It's more about also receiving the awareness, the information, and even allowing the energy to gift you information. So when you ask, it really is not with an answer already concluded. Um, for example, personally for me, I travel a lot and um, I'm in Chicago. And one of the things that I realized is that even if I stay in different hotels, each hotel has different energies, the land, the city, the people that are there. And there's some things that local people just don't pick up. It's just become more you know, automated that it's just part of their day-to-day -day lives. But when you come to a new city, you actually become aware of so much more. It, you haven't adapted or stratified to those energies. And so even look at different parts of your life, pick one thing, one particular thing that you've had difficulties changing or you, um, it's something that activates, you know, getting stressed or something like that. So just put that in your awareness, whatever that thing is. And now I'm gonna ask you, so truth, who does it belong to? Is it yours? And notice, does it lighten up? Like, do you get more of an expanded energy and space? That's usually what's true for you. And then when it's contracted, that's when it's usually that it doesn't resonate for you. It's not true for you. It might be true for someone else. It might be true for me, but it doesn't have to be true for you. So is it yours? Someone else? Something else? And, you know, especially if it's something that you have blamed yourself for or a problem that you think that you've had, it's so easy when I ask, who does it belong to? You immediately want to say, it's mine. Yes, I want to own this. But when you start to ask the question is when you give it freedom to have whatever it is that you have made into concrete, that it's yours, to actually have the space to give you information. Now, what if for a few days, even if it was yours, hmm, you'd be willing to push it to the side for a moment. So everywhere you made it yours and you aligned to it, you resisted it. Can we just now say, okay, let's put it over here. Now, the next question is who else does it belong? Someone else, is that light? And it's not about figuring out who the person is, because sometimes it's not even a person, but just knowing it's not yours, hmm, is it someone else? Now, the easiest way to do the someone else is you just say, okay, whatever this is, whatever this energy is, this idea is, this thought is, this emotion, this feeling, would you now be willing to just return it to all the senders? wherever it came from, wherever it was initially um, created as a bunch of thoughts that created solidified energy to become a reality, can we now return it to all those senders 
with consciousness attached. And what happens, it doesn't go to one person. What it does is it goes to that source, that initial moment of energy becoming solid. And then it allows that to expand and fall apart. And when you add consciousness to anything, it can no longer be a lie. It can no longer be a problem. It just diffuses itself and becomes free flowing energy again. And then if it's something else, now this something else is really interesting because a lot of times, like 98, 99% of the time, it's the earth. We are so much more aware. Our bodies are so much more aware of the earth asking for contribution, asking us to pay attention to something. So you have lots of choices. If it's something else and it's the earth, you can just say, okay, earth, what can I give to you? What can I contribute to you? Because when you say, what can I contribute to you? You're telling the earth, here's some energy that I'm gifting you. And then the earth can also gift to you. So the simultaneous gifting and receiving becomes the contribution. You are receiving from the earth, the earth is receiving from you. And any energy that you give to the earth, the earth has no points of views and immediately things just, the lies go away and it just becomes energy again. So I'm wondering at work, at home, anywhere you are, where can you apply this tool? Um, an access consciousness, we say for three days, for every thought, feeling, emotion, sensation, like even if you have a pain, intensity, any ideas you have, would you be willing to ask that question? Because one of the things you'll become aware of is you pick up other people's ideas. You pick up other people's intensity. You pick up other people's business things that are going on. And there's an app. It's free. It's from Access Consciousness. It's called Who Does This Belong To? I downloaded it after a couple of years of not having the app yesterday. And you could set the time of how often you wanted to ask that to you. Who does this belong to? And you'll realize so much of what you've been perceiving and all the information you've been receiving may not have been yours. So the ones that are yours, you're going to notice they start to dissipate and go away when you returned it to the sender with consciousness attached and when you actually contributed to the earth. And it's really interesting because the more you build the muscle of this, you become so much more aware than you were before. So you have to use this tool even more and expand. I'm gonna do that as another tool in another video, but I wonder like everything, every problem that you think you have, finances, relationship with other people, you know, your stress level, like this was one of the greatest tools for me personally, because I realized in corporate America, being an executive, dealing with so many people, thousands of people on a regular basis, how much I was perceiving the stress of what's around me versus my own stress. And it made it so much easier to handle it. So hope you, um, this is a contribution for you. And I wonder what else is possible. And I love hearing your stories. You can share them below, or please, you can send us a message um, to globalwellnessforall.com slash contact page. Okay, thank you and see you soon. Bye everyone.